All right, guys, I got another one here. This has been a fun one. I spent about the last two hours working on this car. Picked it up yesterday, pretty cheap. 2011 Ford Fiesta. And the issue is sometimes this car would run, other times it wouldn't. The guy took it to a shop. The shop came in the fuse box over here, started messing around with stuff and said that a lot of these um, relays and fuses were corroded really bad. And what they did is they cleaned up these fuses, but they put an absurd amount of dielectric grease on all of these connections. So that was causing all kinds of problems that you don't want to completely just take it on there because then you're not going to get any connection at all. Just kind of a light coating. Don't <laughs> looks like what they did is they pulled these and just caked it in there. Don't do that. I went through about two hours of testing on this vehicle and we checked for spark, different codes, make sure there wasn't any shorts anywhere. The PCM was working correctly. And then after cranking it for a while, I came in the fuse box again and I started just kind of feeling each one of these relays until I got to the coil pack relay, which was really hot. I took it out and the contacts were really, really hot. And I noticed that while I was cranking, the reason I was checking some of these relays is because when I was cranking this engine over, when I pulled one of these spark plug wires and checked for spark, it was intermittent. Sometimes we'd have spark, other times we wouldn't. It, was, it would come and go. And the car still wouldn't start. We couldn't start it on starting fluid, which means that there's definitely something going on with the ignition coil. So, with that being said, I took the AC relay, which is, I believe, this one right here, and swapped it with the ignition coil relay, which is this one here. And let me just show you what we got now. Of course, you're gonna have to come back in and get yourself a new AC relay, but car starts up fine. Now we can solve all the other problems this thing has, but that solves that problem. If you guys wanna see any more, I do a lot of electrical stuff and a lot of difficult things that shops don't even mess with. The shop could not figure this vehicle out. They were gonna charge them $2,200 to go through the electrical system. Um, like I said, it took me two hours to diagnose this, so it wasn't terrible. Hopefully I can help somebody out with this video. If you like it, subscribe, comment.